Maybe. Um, <laughs> Hello everyone! So, uh, today we'll be making meringue cookies. And I'm doing this video because very recently, uh, I posted naman ako sa isang group sa Facebook. Uh, grupo ng mga newbie bakers. So, I'm gonna be posting the link of uh, uh, that group dito sa, ano, sa, sa caption ng video ko. Uh, so that dun sa mga gustong sumali, then you can go there. So, I decided to make this video because um, when I posted it, parang nagulat ako kasi medyo maraming natuwa. <laughs> Hindi ko naman in-expect yun. Uh, I thought kasi parang ako lang, o kasi nung bata ako, I, I, I used to like kahit hanggang ngayon naman. So, I like marang cookies. I think everybody likes marang cookies. Um, medyo napagod ako kakasagot ng mga questions. Um, I'm quite busy. So, uh, I decided to just make this video para uh, wala. Ito na yung sagot sa lahat ng mga questions nyo. Uh, and, if you, and if I miss anything, just go ahead and put a comment below para masagot ko. Okay? Okay, so anyway, uh, yung gagamitin natin for this, um, konti lang naman ng uh, 1 million. <laughs> and so, uh, for eggs, uh, kailangan lang natin dito is egg white. So, we'll be separating the eggs later. Or in a bit, uh, from the yolks. The whites later from the yolks. Now, um, I'll be using my hands then. So, it's gonna be a little messy. And then, um, eto, yung ano nyo, yung bowl nyo, syempre, and your mixer. So, I'm using a 3D mixer. May tagpak. <laughs> so, 3D mixer, I just, I just am okay with the brand. So, I've been using it for quite some time. Um, a little bowl for when I separate my yolks from my whites. Uh, trash bin for the eggshells. Uh, dito kayo sa store yung yolks. Kasi, of course, we're not gonna be using yolks today. So, I may be using it for leche flan tomorrow. <laughs> leche flan tomorrow or uh, wala. Baka pag tinamad ako, scrambled eggs and then it's And then a spatula, of course. The orange spatula for scraping. So, yung ako nagsasayang ng ingredients. Now, we also will use one of our main ingredients, one of the two main ingredients, yung confectioner sugar natin. So, it's basically powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, icing sugar, they're all the same. Uh, now, some people are asking, eh, wala po kaming powdered sugar, wala po kami yung pagbilhan, or medyo mahal siya, or, you know, uh, different reasons. So, pwede kayong gumawa ng powdered sugar nyo uh, sa bahay. If you have a blender, yung ginagawa nyo, yung ginagamit nyo po sa, ano, pagwa ng mga milkshake nyo, yun, you can use that as well. Yung granulated sugar nyo, pwede nyo siyang i-blend together with uh, cornstarch. So, cornstarch, one half, sorry, one tablespoon of cornstarch to one cup of uh, of granulated sugar. So, yun, one tablespoon cornstarch to one cup of granulated sugar, or white sugar. Ang sukal na pote, yun yun. Tapos, uh, blend yun lang siya hanggang sa maging smooth siya. Okay, huwag nyo lang siyang gawin palagi kasi masisira yung blender nyo, magagasgas siya toothpick na maya sa pagkukulay. And of course, yung main color natin, blue at saka red. So, blue at saka red, uh, these are primary colors together with yellow. So, I bought three colors lang and then I just mix my colors just so I could get secondary, you know, tertiary colors. <laughs> tertiary lang. Anyway, tapos ito, it's half a teaspoon of vinegar. So, yan yung mapapas stable ng merang natin for us to achieve uh, stiff peaks mamaya. Tapos, some people are asking, uh, can I use cream of tartar uh, or lemon? Uh, yes, definitely. Cream of tartar actually yung pinaka the best na gamitin kasi it's in powder form. So, you're not gonna add liquids to your, uh, to your merang. So, mas maganda yun. Okay yun. Tapos, maganda rin, second option actually is lemon. Lemon juice. So, half a table, uh, sorry, half a teaspoon din ng lemon, half a quart, half a teaspoon ng cream of tartar, and uh, half a teaspoon din ng uh, vinegar. The reason why I'm using vinegar eh, kasi, 
sayang naman, bubukas ka ng isang lemon just for just for half a teaspoon of it. So, parang sayang naman. Unless iinom ka, di ba? Uh, ng, ng lemon juice. No? Or lemon tea. Also, cream of tartar. Kasi di ba pag bibili ka ng cream of tartar, parang ang dami niya. Either ganito yung kalahing box or yung malahing box. Hindi naman ako masyadong magamit mo. So, I just use vinegar. It's available in my kitchen anytime. So, ang saan? <laughs> sa talipa pa. And, one thing, uh, I think bag, disposable. I use disposable tags kasi tamad ako maghugas. Tsaka, I pipe yung tip natin. Uh, this is, I think, 4B. We'll be using another one. And then, of course, our, our parchment paper. And then, our baking tray. Okay, I think I forgot something. Eh, mamaya na. <laughs> Okay, let's start. Okay, so for this um, recipe, we'll be using three eggs or three egg whites. Pwede rin na uh, yung gagawin natin is three, ah, sorry, one, one confectioner, uh, one egg white, two, two, one is to two, confectioner sugar. So, ibig sabihin, halimbawa, you have 100 grams of uh, egg whites, you'll use 200 grams of uh, confectioner sugar with it or for the recipe. I'll be using three egg whites. I'll be using my hands and our hands are the easiest, or, sorry, the softest <laughs> uh, separator that you can use. Because I have tried different uh, tools, like merong egg yolk separator na nilalagay mo dito. Para din, nababasa din yung So I'm just going to be using my hands no, to separate. So I use uh, a small small bowl because uh, it's transfer ka siya dito mama in whites. And then yung yolks, dito ko naman siya ilalagay for storage. So dahil ko lang siya sa fridge no, para magamit ko siya next time. In the next few days. So I'm just going to be breaking my, my egg here. <laughs> so, ayan. Tapos, lagay lang natin siya. So, my eggs are cleaned. So, hinugasan ko na yan. Kaya yeah, okay lang nahawakan ko siya ulit after I after I separate this. So, bawang kasi malagyan ng yolk yung white natin. Hindi siya pwedeng mahaluan ng ng egg yolk. Kasi nga, prone tayo sa salmonella if that happens. So, we have to make sure na very clean yung egg white natin. Puro egg white lang talaga siya. Wala siyang shells, wala siyang tubig. Dapat marinis din yung bowl. So, ayan. Um, I'll be breaking more eggs. So, the reason why I use a smaller bowl and then do all these transfers is Ayoko kasi masayang yung batch. Kami yun, minsan. And it happened to me a lot of times already. Na, yan. Na, idalagay ko siya dito sa isang bowl na buo. Tapos nababasag yung yolk. Buong batch sira, diba? So, it's, ano, it's gonna ruin the entire batch, the entire recipe. So, wala. Ulit ka ulit from the top. Diba? Ayan, katulad nito. <laughs> katulad nito, na ano, nabasag. So, lalagay ko na lang siya dito. Kasi nahalo na yung yolk sa ano. Sa so, whites. Ayan, kasi nabasag ko yung yolk. So, hindi na siya pwede. Ayan, scrambled egg ka bukas. Ako akong bago ito. Wait. So, these are egg whites. <coughs> And I'm gonna be breaking my egg whites first. Kasi yung lalagay natin next is yung half a teaspoon of vinegar natin. So, yeah, so let's just break the egg whites first. Ayan, so pwede na natin ilagay ang vinegar natin kasi frothy na yung ating egg whites. So, antayin lang natin na pumuti pa siya ng konti. And then, we can add our sugar na. Tablespoon by tablespoon. So, dahan-dahan lang, it takes a lot of patience. Uh, mga 30 seconds in between. O, kung gumagamit ka ng granulated sugar, make sure nyo na bago nyo idagdag yung next na tablespoon, eh, wala na kayong parang magaspang na nararamdaman dun sa whisk nyo. Ayan, 
natin. So, pag na-add na natin lahat ng sugar, i-beat na natin siya hanggang magkuha na natin ang tinatawag na stiff peaks. So, etong stage na to, tinatawag na soft peak kasi tumutumba pa siya pag inaangat natin yung whisk. So, pag binit na natin siya, hanggang yung parang nahirapan ka ng ibig siya kasi parang bumibigat na siya. And then, pag inangat mo siya at tumatayo na siya on its own, ayan, hindi siya natutumba, then you have reached stiff peaks na. So, ayun na yan. Yan na yung gagawin natin for piping. So, hahatiin na natin siya into two bowls. And then, we're gonna color using our gel food color. I'm using Chef Master. Uh, yung sa pink, I'll be using Christmas red. Onti-onti lang yung paglalagay para makuha natin yung pastel color. So, ayan. Yung sa blue naman, I'll be using royal blue. Ayan. So, nakakita nyo, I'm using a toothpick para kumuha dun sa kulay ko. Kasi... Para konti-konti lang. Kasi gel color is very uh, concentrated. Kaya, uh, kahit konti lang ilagay mo, uh, makakapagkulay ka ng marang mo. Ang ganyan. So, add lang ako ng konti pang kulay para ma-achieve ko na yung gusto kong color. So, if you're wondering bakit may baso dyan, uh, gagamitin natin yan as guide dun sa piping bag para mas madaling ilagay yung marang natin sa loob at mas malinis. Same drill na lang din mamaya sa kulay pink. Konti-konti paglalagay, tas ganyan din paglagay sa piping bag. Ayan, so simutin lang natin using a scraper. At isecure lang natin din yung parchment paper using our merang na din. Ayan, likit lang. And then yan, pipe your heart out. <laughs> Tapos isarang na lang natin siya sa preheated oven na 100 degrees Celsius. Up and down heating element. And ayun na po siya after an hour and 30 minutes. So mahaba-haba po siya kasi may malalaking uh, cases po tayo dyan yung pink. So uh, para malaman natin kung luto na siya, eh, pag inaangat mo yung marang, eh, madali na lang siyang iangat. Hindi siya dumidikit sa parchment paper. And then, tapos, store na lang natin siya sa mga sealed containers like mga lock and lock or at po, zip lock. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy making your marang sa bahay. And if you enjoy this video po, I hope you give me some love by clicking on the like button and hopefully you can subscribe to my channel as well. If you want me to show you how to make other stuff, uh, just comment down below para tignan natin. Baka naman makatulong ako. Salamat and stay safe. Bye-bye.